Top off. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. You are in the vicinity of the base rack and testing field. You will experience ear shattering glass of face over 150 decibels, as well as very violent periods of heavy vibration. If you are not prepared, these weapons have the potential to seriously injure or kill you. Is everybody ready to experience?
maneuvering systems now uh, firing for a minute of, uh, for a duration of one minute 42 seconds to assist uh, with Atlantis's climb to orbit. Two engine ten. Zaragoza in Spain in the event of a single engine failure at this point, however, all three are continuing to perform in excellent shape. Three minutes into the flight, uh, Commander Ken Cockrell on the forward uh, portion of the flight deck to his right, Pilot Mark Polanski on, Polanski on his first ride to orbit. Between them and behind them, Marsha Ivans, the flight engineer, and behind Mark Polanski on the flight deck, astronaut uh, mission specialist Bob Kirby, Tom Jones, the lone uh, crew member down on the mid deck. Atlanta traveling 4,100 miles per hour, already 100 miles uh, uprange from the Kennedy Space Center, headed up the northeast coast of the United States at an altitude of 55 miles. Three minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. Atlantis Houston, negative return. That call indicating Atlantis can... Atlantis can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. Again, all three main engines uh, still uh, performing well, as are the electricity-producing fuel cells and the hydraulic systems, the auxiliary power units aboard the space shuttle. Four minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Atlantis traveling 5,600 miles per hour downrange from the Space Center at the Kennedy Space Center, 200 miles at an altitude of 64 miles. fail at this point, uh, approaching or now just passing through five minutes into the flight, three and a half minutes remaining in power flight. All continue to go very smoothly, very quiet here in the flight control room as all systems are in excellent shape aboard the orbiter. Now traveling uh, 7,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 66 miles, already downrange, uh, approaching 300 miles from the Kennedy Space Center.